Hi everyone, warm welcome to my channel and uh, today we will have a look at this beautiful Celine Triumph belt and I will try to answer a very commonly asked question which I received from many of you after posting a Celine Triumph wallet on chain unboxing video and that is are they scratch prone or not? <laughs> so let's have a look. So this belt I am absolutely in love with. It's uh, beautiful. I love the color. I didn't want to buy a black one because I have several black belts um, and uh, I wanted this particular uh, brown color like camel or natural and uh, I love the buckle of course. That was another reason. But now that I have it, I must say I'm impressed by the quality. It's so well made and it has a very uh, light and pleasant smell of a tanned leather. And the lever itself, it's incredibly soft, but the belt isn't uh, treated that much, I would say, the lever itself. So it's very natural and well-made and incredibly soft. And this lever, I can say, will be a bit scratch-prone indeed. Uh, so one should be a bit more careful with it. So now what about the wallet on chain? Uh, unboxing of which you, you can find among my videos, I can also link. Do you think that it's in the same kind of leather? Well, in fact, both the wallet on chain and the belt are made of calfskin, so it's the same kind of leather, but the finishing is certainly different. I hope it's visible now, like that. The belt is certainly less treated, as you can see, and um, the belt is butterly soft, really, so it reminds me of Chanel lambskin while the wallet on chain doesn't have the same feeling. It's of course also very smooth and delicate uh, leather, but it isn't that delicate as the belt. Now back to this belt, I think it is certainly the best quality belt that I own. And before purchasing this one, I was considering uh, one belt from Dior in a similar price range. And I have ordered it online and uh, even a small wallet. When those items arrived, I wasn't impressed by the quality at all. Uh, the hardware was scratched on both the belt and the wallet, so I returned those and I ordered that belt again. Uh, it was called uh, Cairo belt with Cairo uh, buckle. And can you imagine that the second belt arrived and it was again scratched, but it was on the lever. So. <laughs> Um, I mean, and even if it wasn't scratched, it's just so incomparable, the quality on, of this belt and the Dior belt that I ordered. This belt is certainly impeccable compared to Dior belts that I have tried and returned and purchased this instead. Approximately uh, half a year ago. I'm not sure other bags from Celine if they are made of the same lever, but it's certainly not the same finish and feel like the belt. The belt is way softer and way more delicate. This one is um, sturdy and uh, it doesn't feel that soft or it is soft, but it's not as soft as the belt. And I, I personally don't think that this one is that scratch prone. Uh, if there is any bigger scratch, I am quite sure that it will be visible because as you see, it's very smooth leather, but I don't think that it's as gentle as the belt. If you have uh, other bags from Celine and can compare if they are as soft as the belt, put that into comments because I'm not sure, but I'm actually not that afraid to scratch it. Um, I mean, that's natural. If you would bump into some sharp objects while wearing, then you would get a scratch. So it's not like canvas leather where it's very heavy finished, uh, but if you prefer more natural leather, I think that these pieces are really beautiful. And if you are someone who wears your pieces and takes care of them and uh, sees some of the signs of wear, like minor scratches as a natural cycle of uh, wearing something, then I wouldn't be that worried. But of course, there are belts that aren't as soft and scratch prone as this. So in summary, if you think that uh, wallet on chain is as soft and scratch prone as the belt, I wouldn't say so. Belt is certainly more scratch prone uh, because of the, the smoother and softer lever. And the wallet on chain, it is also smooth, but it's not as delicate as the belt. In general, I would absolutely recommend uh, both the belt and the wallet on chain for anyone uh, who uh, likes more, more natural and classic 
pieces. So that's it for today's video. My channel is very, very new and I would really appreciate if you subscribe and support my creativity here on uh, YouTube. And have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.